In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Michael Jordan and some of his one-on-one -on -one skills, moves, and also strategies, and a tutorial on how you can also win more one-on-one -on -one games, just like the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. Let's get down, let's check him out. Okay, so in this first clip, he goes for a small shot fake, and just look at his body really quick. He is looking at the rim, that is key. You don't want to be looking really at what the defender is doing other than in your peripheral vision. Number two is he is super relaxed. He has his shoulders even rolled forward. He is not stressed whatsoever. Next, he goes and attacks. And when he attacks, what he does is he takes that quick, gets that ball right to his hips, and then that quick dribble keeping and trying to keep his shoulders lower than his defenders even though his defender is not exactly balanced and has his butt sticking way out and shoulders way forward he is trying to use that same strategy trying to get his shoulders down but he's doing it without bending his knees and because of that he now he needs to play catch up on Michael Jordan Michael Jordan the whole time has been on his toes attacking that rim and meanwhile that defender is not really doing all that much. At that point, what we have is Michael Jordan knows that this defender has to catch up and he's going to go for the first fake that he sees. And that is Michael Jordan going up on that right side. So what Michael Jordan does instead is he does that up and under layup, gets that defender to try and pin him on that side of the backboard, but in reality does a reverse layup on the other side. This is something that you can do. Watch. Watch how many dribbles. One. That's it. Only one dribble. This is what I'm talking about. You only need to do very few dribbles in one-on-one. -on -one. The more dribbles you do, the worse it's going to be in most cases. Now, here Michael Jordan does a shot fake, which tries to get he tries to get that player either in the air or heels down to the ground, which is what happens right there. He goes for that second shot, and as soon as he sees, see his watch his eyes. We'll go in slow motion. Ready? He goes for that shot fake, sees that the heels hit that ground, and then he goes up for a shot. Now, if he went for that shot fake and that quick jab, if this player was quick off the ground, watch how slow he's actually moving. So we'll take off slow motion, shot, see that hesitation right there, that shot and then a jab, right? That is going to be very important if you want to play one-on-one -on -one like Michael Jordan. With Mike, when Michael Jordan goes one-on-one, -on -one, he does all of his moves like if they mean something. And that, that says a lot. So, quick shot fake, quick jab, get that defender's heels down to the ground. Once that happens and you see that, you can go up for that shot and you haven't even taken one dribble. So here we go with Michael Jordan once again. And here we're going to slow down again. He's taking a couple dribbles towards the right side, trying to make that defender relax just a bit. And then he's going to slowly back down that defender. He's not putting a ton of weight into that defender. There's a reason for that. If that defender tries to really push back on Michael Jordan, well, guess what? Michael Jordan's going to spin off of him. If he tries to reach, Michael Jordan's going to teach. And that's what we have here. That guy reaches, and Michael Jordan's still standing there, very super relaxed. Relaxed. You don't want to be stressed. You don't want to try and break in the guy's ankle. It's not going to do anything for you. Super relaxed. Watch that. Just that slight shoulder fake right there. Slight. The look away shoulder fake. That gets that guy frozen on the ground. And Michael Jordan turns around. Has a little bit of a fade away. But look. 45 degree angle off from the net. Kicks that right leg around for that shot, gets lined up, and he's able to bang it. So this is now in this next clip what I mean by dribbling way too much. This guy's dribbling way too much, whoever's playing Jordan here. Dribbling the ball way up to his shoulder, does a quick shoulder fake, didn't go anywhere. Michael Jordan's not going to jump on you. And because of that, if you can play defense relaxed, take and absorb that contact, wait for this guy to dribble way too much, wait till he shows that ball, the ball's way on this side, Michael Jordan tries to reach on the right but it didn't work, he was able to time that just right because he knows, hey that shoulder fake, this player's going to roll back and if he does I need to get my hand in there and that's what happened there. Michael Jordan is not your average player who is trying to play you in that second, he's already playing two seconds ahead of you and you need to know that so if you're ever playing against somebody great like Michael Jordan 
What you need to do is to know that he's thinking two seconds ahead of you, so now you can think four seconds ahead of him. And how you can play four seconds ahead is knowing that, hey, if I do a shoulder fake, he's going to think I'm going to come back this way. I'm just going to continue that shoulder fake. I'm going to continue and turn around and take that shot. You need to be purposeful with your offense if you're playing against somebody great or somebody better than you. So in this next clip, he Michael Jordan is taking quite a few dribbles, but it's a relaxed dribble. He's not attacking yet. He's waiting for that defender to make a mistake. And now the defender's made that mistake, and the mistake that that defender made was to continue with Michael Jordan behind him. Well, Michael Jordan now has a lane to the basket. This defender has not cut off Michael Jordan. And because of that... As soon as a player, this goes for in-game as well, if a player is trying to defend you, forcing you baseline, and you want to really, really hurt them baseline, do a quick shoulder fake away from the baseline. He's already on that side anyways. He's not going to reach around and grab you on the right, so you might as well shoulder fake away, shot fake, and then go up into your defender. That is a very high-level move, and you can do this as well, just like Michael Jordan. So this last clip I'm going to show you of Michael Jordan is right there. Really quickly, I just want to show you that. He's dribbling away from his defender, and then he hops into his attack. This is very purposeful. You cannot get a full head of steam without hopping into an attack. That is what you need to do, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one game or a... A uh, five on five game. If you want to attack the basket, you need to do that quick scissor step and then be able to attack. Now, what that was meant for him to do was to make that defender take that big step back, knowing that Michael Jordan was going to attack. Well, Michael Jordan still has a little bit of momentum. He's going into it once again. And now, because he's already faked out that defender once, thinking that he was going to drive, he can now go into that hop push off that back foot with his toes, and then he's able to attack. Now, when he attacks, watch this. One dribble, two dribble. Second dribble's on the stop. You stop on that second dribble, take a hop step back, and then you take your shot. This is a very purposeful move, and you can do this as well. How is he able to stop so fast? He stops on his left foot. He drags his right foot with him. See the right foot right there? He drags it with him, he stops, he has two feet together, he hops back, he's created that distance, and he's able to make that shot. This is a very high level move that you can do as well. Michael Jordan is one of those players that I would always want to play against someday. I know he's probably way better. If I can lose like a good 70 pounds, I think that I could make it competitive just because I have really broken down his one-on-one -on -one games so much that I might have a one-point advantage on him for at least the first 10 seconds. However, another player was Kobe Bryant. I really wanted to play him one-on-one. -on -one. And another player I want to play as well as DeMar DeRozan. Those are the three players that I really wanted to play someday one-on-one -on -one, just because I've analyzed their games so much when it comes to their one-on-one -on -one games where they play against just random people that I think that I could have at least one basket against them. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that this video has helped you become a better five-on-five, -five, but also one-on-one -on -one player as well. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Make sure to go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below.